we are still in this playoff semi-final. Your guess is as good as mine. So here we go. It's the first leg of the playoff semi-final versus Nottingham Forest at Bramall Lane. Now, who'd have thought this? Who'd have thought this under Slav? When we're playing away at Ewell Park, we got absolutely smashed. Who'd have thought that they were a lot further down the league and we were going to finish fifth and a lot of people saying that we are the favourites for the playoffs. Now, I'm not saying that. I think that Forest are still the favourites, but yeah, we're playing. We're not playing too badly at the moment, are we? Anyway, so this is going to be a two-person vlog like it was for the last one. It's going to be a Nick Cam, as you can see up there, and there's going to be a Hal Cam when Hal comes on. So, yeah, it's going to be a fun day. Uh, hopefully the Blades can get the win. And, um, yeah, let's enjoy the sun. Let's enjoy the football. And hopefully let's enjoy some goals. Goals for the Blades. I must be more specific in life. Goals for the Blades. Let's go. Here we are then, about to speak to my nephews, who are not joining me for the game because... Why? Because we... Uh... We're going to a castle. A castle. That's basically. the reason. But you can't go to the playoffs because. Uh, because we. Because we... our mum wouldn't let That's us. That's the real reason. Okay. And, and we and and we were so excited to go! Yay! All right. Wow, that's a weird angle. Uh, let's give the people what they want. So same sandwiches as the Fulham match. I am recording this before the game. I don't know whether to have a sandwich or wait till afterwards because it's a much later game. So I'm pretty hungry. So I'm, I'm probably going to, I'm going to wait though because I waited before. I waited after the Fulham game. So do you know what? Even though I'm hungry, I'm going to wait until after this Forest game because I do not want it to be my fault. At the moment, I've done everything the same. So we're on his way down to Bramall Lane now in the car. It's boiling hot. I don't know why I've wore jeans, but I have done. Um, I'm going to hit you with a little prediction now, as I did last week. 2-0 uh, Blades or 3-1 Blades. This could massively blow up in my face. Um, but I just feel confident. I feel like the Blades are going to do it by two clear goals. And then we're going to go to the city ground, hold out for a draw or something like that, and fly off into the sunset to Wembley. Come on, the Blades. Can't tell you how excited I am to see uh, Statsman Adam. You think I'm a football geek? This guy, this guy, the original. Look, look at that, that's how tall you are. I couldn't even get the top of your head in. Uh, we are so excited. You came on the train, right? What's it like? Uh, absolutely. Boisterous, noisy, loads of blades. The train driver, as I got on, up the blades. Up the blades, he says, as we got on. You absolutely superb. You love absolutely that. Absolutely superb. We are on our way to Triple Point. Going to go and meet some of the lads from Blades Pod. We're also, fingers crossed, going to try and meet up with YouTuber Benjamin Bloom. I am so pleased to be able to meet Benjamin Bloom, who has a Blades good luck charm, joined us today for this match against Nottingham Forest. Benjamin, whenever it comes to watching a Blades game, you know that United fans really appreciate you. <laughs> Boy, I'm right. I I'm only here just to say he's right. Yeah, that's the only reason I'm here. And you yeah. are a good luck charm, just for those that don't know, play it on us. What have you done? What have you seen? So, Sheffield United tend to win around 99.9% .9 of games that I attend. So, I will happily take credit for a victory and no responsibility <laughs> for um, your inept playoff record. But, no, I think if you're getting to Wembley, you've got to get this done today. It's, yeah. it's today. I, I, don't, I don't see you, I hate to say it, sorry, I don't see you drawing this game and then winning it in the city ground. I, I think agree with that. It's this defensive record here, this good what, one defeat in 15 at Bramall Lane, isn't it? So, yeah. But our away record, like one win in seven. One win in seven. It's not yeah. good enough. So we've got to get you right. We've got to get it done today. Also, I, I have to mention this because uh, my mum didn't know who Benjamin was, so I showed her a video and she said, oh, what a handsome. <laughs> uh, the last person she said that to was Alan Rickman. So read into that what you will. Uh, Roy, your chance to say anything to the man who you've been rather excited about meeting today. He didn't want to tell you that. I, I, I love you. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that. No, you're, you're obviously. Aren't you supposed to be wearing a Columbia shirt? He knew it. Doesn't work anymore. Oh. Doesn't okay. work anymore. It, it, it's all like the Premier League championship. So you believe in certain ridiculous lucky charms? Exactly that. Not exactly yet. that. So we've got you here, like obviously, to, to win us the playoffs. Because in the championship, obviously, your videos are absolutely amazing. Thank you. And the, the lead one in particular, I watched that with my dad, and we, 
we were sort of cheering along with you. You're going, oh, then that's Fred in there, all this sort of stuff. So, yeah, uh, brilliant. I don't know why you put me on the spot with this, actually. You, you handle that super well, Blue. Uh, yeah. Check out Benjamin Bloom's channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Please do. It is absolutely fantastic. And leave your bias at the door. <laughs>
how we are still in this playoff semi-final, your guess is as good as mine because we should have been way out of this tie. They should have gone up probably 3-0 at half time and then they should, probably should have finished the game off 5 or 6 0. We didn't even deserve that goal. We were terrible in this game. We were not up for it. We might have been up for it for five minutes, but then they came into it, bullied us, and somehow we have managed to scrape a scrappy goal that's kept us in this game. Just before we scored, maybe five minutes before, Egan makes a fantastic tackle after his gaff. Um, for their second goal and then the Blades go and sneak a, a random goal from across I've, I've got no idea how we've managed to that how that ball's managed to end up in the back of the net maybe it's a Samba mistake but it's just hit Sander Berger apparently and ended up in the back of the net the Blades have lost 2-1 but it actually feels like a win it really does as stupid as it sounds it sounds like a win so we go to the city ground in a few days time just hoping that we get an early goal and get ourselves back into this game because if Forest go 1-0 up early on in the next game it's all over but fair play to Forest, Forest were by far the better team.